see if there's any. Oh, it's quite a number. Okay, hi. Musta. <laughs> so, let's start. So, uh, about the Philippines. Um, so, Laravel PH is based in the Philippines, obviously. Um, so, just a little bit about our country. So, the people there are pretty social. Um, we're pretty social since childhood. So, basically, from family gatherings to the school, we tend to hang around the same people, basically. Um, and if you're interested in the same thing, usually you can find a friend in the Philippines. Um, because we're in the Philippines, it's an island nation, so it's one difficulty to attend uh, a meetup from, um, let's say, south in Mindanao to Manila. So in that in that sense, it kind of limits the the audience that you can uh, that can participate in your meetup. Furthermore, there are different dialects in each uh, region, which can also make it difficult. And it, it's not the whole country that speaks English. Um, there are like uh, certain like who are really fluent in it. So although that's the case, English is still an official language. Um, in starting from grade school, everyone is taught the basics of grammar and uh, how to speak in English, and that progresses into high school and eventually college. So yeah. So one question that uh, came up at one of our meetups uh, in a Lean Coffee meetup was why do we attend meetups? So for me, um, Filipinos uh, tend to go to the meetups for social aspect. And maybe the second part is to learn something new. So, but I, I, I observed that basically after each lecture when, when someone's done talking in the Philippines, um, it's hard to get questions from the audience. It's like they're shy or something. Or my theory is that um, they think it's like a school where you just go to a lecture and then uh, talk to the teacher talks and then, okay, you're, you're done, except that there's no homework. So um, in our meetups, we usually have uh, beginner level topics. Um, the reason for this is um, there are a lot of students who are still studying Laravel. So we like to cater to the majority of the audience. So we make most of the topics about beginners or beginners can understand. Then we, I usually inject something like uh, advanced lesson or something, or something advanced topic that, uh, that other professionals might be interested to, in, to uh, go to the talk. And yeah, so that's what makes the meetup uh, more interesting. Um, in the Philippines, there's a funny story though. Um, you commonly get questions like, uh, is there a certificate at the end of the meetup? or even um, if they ask even if it's free. I think it's because uh, there's a big culture there where um, you're supposed to attend seminars and all, but uh, yeah, it's just a funny story. <laughs> so um, aside from Laravel Philippines, uh, I attend other meetups, so that's how I kind of uh, try to improve the Laravel Philippines meetups. So these are the other meetups that I go to. Um, Usually, if there's something interesting, I just go to it. Um, for example, yeah, data science is a big thing in the Philippines right now because like, there's the R users group where yeah, I try to study scripting in R. Uh, Manila JavaScript is pretty popular as well. Um, as you can see, there are other meetup groups, not only technical. So yeah, I, those are like, we're, we're pretty diverse in terms of meetups. Okay. so. I go to these meetups as well to uh, reach out to the crowd, basically try to gauge what's, uh, what new topics are there to, that maybe I could add it to one of the topics in Laravel Philippines. So let's go to Laravel usage in the Philippines. I don't have the exact numbers, but based on the meetup group, um, I can tell by the industry that a lot of uh, startups are using Laravel, especially if the technical co-founder is a uh, PHP guy. They usually recommend Laravel um, just to begin the project. Um, a lot of the other uh, startups that I know of, they use uh, their own framework, they create their own, or they use Codeigniter or Zen. Um, there's one startup that used Symfony before, but then they eventually moved on to Ruby on Rails. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty diverse uh, group. 
Um, and actually, I tried to make the Laravel Philippines group more diverse by introducing different topics. Like last time, we had Vue CLI instead of uh, the usual Laravel backend stuff about PHP. So this is our Facebook group. So in the picture, that was one of our beta's where we discussed uh, TDD using pure PHP. So we've been handling meetups since 2013. Um, we host many meetups. Uh, many companies approach us, and they basically want to promote their devs and uh, as well as their company. So they host the meetup for us, and then we we go there, and they present. And I, yeah. So basically, it's a pretty uh, regular kind of group. Um, so we have different kinds of topics. We have lightning talks as well. We sometimes talk about people's projects. Um, one time, I just played. A video from Laracast, and uh, the the newbies enjoy that one. So we really learn a lot of this from these meetups. Okay. So this is our group on uh, meetup.com. Uh, that was an old banner I created a long time ago. So that was the TDD workshop that we had. So it was about a calculator um, test. So we just create a calculator and we tested created unit tests for each of the functions. So our Laravel group here has uh, about 1,700 plus uh, members right now. So, yep. So this is uh, one of the first meetups that I had. Uh, it was very small, in, held in Microsoft Philippines, um, about 2014. So yeah, this was the fun meetup where we basically had, you know, just getting to know each other, and uh, talking about each other's projects. So I introduced something new in the Laravel Philippines uh, meetup. It's called Lean Coffee Style. So it's similar to the UX group, and I'm sure you've encountered it as well. So basically, you have this uh, Kanban board where you write uh, things to discuss and things to be discussed, and um, people can prioritize which topics they want to talk about. So. The main takeaway that I get from these kinds of meetups is a lot of newbies uh, learn more about the business side rather than the technical side. And if they have like questions about technical, they quickly get the answer much faster than if they were to post it online. So basically, we've been doing this for a while. Uh, we had at least two coffee meetups. And this is one of the meetups where we had uh, some topics there. So some topics can range like so you can see one of the nodes says pet projects, um, other languages like Node or Python. There's even uh, you know some meta kind of question, uh, why attend meetups? So yeah, and there are some advanced ones like APIs and microservices. So um, in the Laravel community, I try to um, get the members to contribute to open source. Um, one of the tips that I learned from um, getting people to contribute is to create a contributing file, basically. So it, it, you, you're supposed to basically set the parameters for how they will contribute. Like, do they file an issue queue, and then um, when they file a pull request, do they reference the issue queue? Um, things like that, that. That really helps the newbies understand, and for the people who are maintaining the project, um, know what exactly, you know, at least there's a process, and. Um, it, it becomes clear what, what they want to do. And yeah, it's, it's easier for the newbies to contribute. So yeah, that's basically that. One of our members, um, Jeff, Jeff DeSena, they created this project called Laravel, Laracom, which is basically Laravel e-commerce. So um, he made it uh, so that it's test-driven, development kind of driven uh, um, contribution model. So he won't accept any pull request unless there's a test to it. And it helps the newbies understand or be forced to learn about test-driven design and development. So yeah. So another thing, another tip that I learned is to create a community guidelines. So in one of our repos, I placed this. So basically, how will you communicate to other members like with respect and what are the responsibilities of someone um, sharing something to the group? So 
yeah, basically it tells you to um, post it to some something like gist or uh, other uh, text sharing um, kind of code. Okay. So shared value, th these things uh, help um, make the community more um, cohesive, coherent in their, in their values so that um, you, you don't have a lot of problems later on. Like for one time, there was a guy in Facebook group where he was kind of rude to the newbies and yeah, I basically had to kick him out for a bit. And yeah, that was the fun part of being community. So why I think the community will continue to grow? I think it's because of the Laravel ecosystem. There's, there's a laracast.com, you can learn Laravel from that. There's Forge, which allows newbies to learn how to deploy their Laravel apps by just paying $10, $10 or something. And there's the forums, laravel.io. So that's a, that's a good reason why Laravel continues to grow is that there's all these uh, things that help Laravel developers um, become better. So some lessons learned from running a meetup. So I learned that there's lots of room for improvement. Um, so basically, it's a lot of hard work and discipline. Like you really need to um, practice a lot in speaking, in uh, sending requests to the venue partners, and how to negotiate for that. So it's a lot. My le my learning is that it's a lot like learning a like running a startup. So in a startup, you have to run everything by yourself. Then eventually, people join you, and you make sure that they're they're of the same value. I, they, they have the, sh the, the shared values that you have of culture. And this helps eliminate problems about commitments and basically hiring the wrong people who eventually leave you. Another thing that I learned is that you have to build an online portal. Um, this is on the way. Um, it's kind of hard because I'm also handling a, a day job. So you have to find a way for people to contribute where they can blog. They can share their issues and find jobs. So that helps build the ecosystem. Okay, so that's a, another good thing because it will, um, like, because the Philippines is an island nation, there's a lot of people all around who uh, can't go to the place where there's a meetup. And the plan is from this, maybe we could go global. There's, I learned about this last night, basically, thanks to Thomas. Um, so there's this website called php.usergroup, so you could look up user groups there. There's also friendsofphp.org, and there's a lot of awesome lists out there that you could look up the different kind of meetups that are there that I could add my group to. So um, I'd just like to share some tips in growing an FB group before I end. So we have an FB group in, in Facebook, basically. and. I learned that you, you could post questions to engage your conversations with your members. So um, you could maybe post about, ask about them, their favorite editor. Um, this, the next topic, tabs or spaces, is a big uh, kind of hot topic that I like to ask sometimes. So some people, they use it like a stack overflow. So this is one of the posts. So he, he's sharing about some tip about clean code. So they're using this thing called uh, basically carbon that now that sh, which is a way to um, beautify your uh, uh, code snippets when you're sharing them online. So it transforms it to an image, basically. So yeah, that's one of the things. So yeah, thanks. I'm Joe Palala. I head the Laravel Philippines, and uh, I also contribute to I Volunteer Philippines. Um, do uh, tweet me up if you, you want to talk to me. Thank you.